Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaisa. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, okay, let's get into it. I had a TikTok recently that kind of popped off wow. and people were asking for a tutorial. So let's do it. Here we are in Photoshop. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the process and um, show you like how I would make one of these post one of these posters from scratch. Okay. So starting in Photoshop, these are the settings that I've been using: 2,800 pixels by 3,500 pixels, um, vertical orientation, 300 DPI, um, RGB, white background you know pretty standard stuff here <laughs> let's create and um here's one of the posters that i've made earlier i like to just have another poster open so that i can use it as a template for the new one um, so right away let's save this we're going to be doing yoshi um, and i'm saving these as photoshop pdfs doesn't really matter you can also just do like a regular photoshop document um but i just have been happy i i don't know i'm just using pdf <laughs> right now doesn't matter i don't think i'm not a professional actually i am but okay <laughs> so i've been making these mario kart posters because i've been playing a lot of mario kart recently <laughs> and i've been making a lot of posters recently so Worlds Collide, and here we are. Um, this is the first one I made, this Rosalina one, and the system, just like the design system, can really work with any character. Um, got a big block of text with the name at the top, full body character portrait, a little headshot, uh, description, and then our footer. Um, so every poster has these same elements, and like that's how I've been keeping them looking pretty consistent. Like each one has these, I don't know, was it like seven elements? This little star, this title, uh, full body, headshot, description, footer, and logo. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working with. So for the background, that's kind of the first thing that you're gonna start with. <laughs> I've been keeping, I'm just gonna copy and paste this image over um, it's this like rainbow road image and that is in every single one so just for consistency's sake I'm throwing it in here um, and then let's find another um, I've been looking up like different Mario Kart courses to use as like overlays on the background so for Yoshi let's see I'll look up Mario Kart 8 is it like Yoshi Circuit or something? Just kind of browse through images until you find something that you kind of like the composition or layout or colors or whatever. The backgrounds really don't matter. They don't need to be like super high res. Like often, like by the time the poster is done, it's going to be pretty like, it's not the most noticeable, noticeable thing. So it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> this picture is pretty high res. Let's try this one. Let's try it. Command V to get it in to your document. Um, resizing it and I'm holding the Alt key when I resize. That just like keeps it centered as you are resizing it. Hit enter. And here we go. I kind of like this area. It has the ocean, some little islands, I don't know. This looks cute to me. I also want to have a general color scheme going. So I like to put a, a gradient background underneath the background images. So for Cat Peach, for example, um, you have this like yellowy, uh, it's like pink, peachy, peachy to yellow <laughs> background. Um, and that kind of was Actually, I changed it at the last minute if you saw my TikTok, <laughs> but that kind of informs the color scheme for the whole 
poster. So for Yoshi, hmm, I don't know. You know what I've actually been doing? I've been bringing the character in and then finding a background that kind of um, pops against the character. So before we do the background, or before we finalize the background, let's just get Yoshi in here. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Here's high res. <laughs> it can be kind of hard to find high, super high res images. Um, but once you do, yeah, this one's huge. Wow. <laughs> Never looked at Yoshi this close up before. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It looks cute already. <laughs> so over here is the gradient tool. Um, and yeah, usually I just use the presets. Um, and then if I am really struggling, I'll make my own gradient. Um, yeah, let's try this gradient here. And how to put the gradient, you just click and drag. And I always do it like uh, outside of my canvas. Like see how I'm dragging it all the way past the corner. Um, I also go corner to, the co corner to corner. I don't know why, that's just like the angle of the gradient. This is like barely even a gradient. Let's keep it for now and we can fiddle with it in the future if we need to. Let's overlay these images onto the gradient and kind of get our background uh, somewhat nailed down. Um, so going back to our reference here, this image, soft light at 79%, I kind of want to keep that the same. Um, and these are just blending modes up here. It's kind of hard to remember like exactly what each blending mode does. A lot of, a lot of the times I'm just like scrolling through them <laughs> and just experimenting to figure out what looks good. But most of what I'm doing here is experimenting to figure out what looks good. That's the best way to learn in my opinion. All right, and for Yoshi Circuit or Yoshi Island or whatever course this is, like see, I'm just kind of scrolling through the blending modes um, until I find something that like could work. Like this, it looks a little crazy right now, but it could work if I lower the opacity a little bit. I think this I want to. Hmm, maybe overlay is better. Yeah, this is kind of cool. You have these like weird shapes, like, and I want it to look, um, I want the background to look abstract. Like some elements you can find like, oh, okay, on this one I see some squares, but most of it's just kind of blurry and weird. <laughs> and I think it looks good, so I'm keeping it. I kind of like this. Or does this look better? Okay, this is kind of cool too. It kind of adds like a little bit of purple, purpleiness into it. All right, I think this is good. And like looking at this, you're like, what? This does not look like anything. <laughs> and that's kind of the point. All right, let's put Yoshi in here. Okay, cute. I'm liking it so far. Okay, so the next step is to get the text in here. So the texts are in a container and I make that with the rectangle tool. I just click here, this box thing, <laughs> and just click and drag to a rectangle. Doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect, you can always um, edit it after you make it. I want it to be centered in the canvas. For now, it might change. Um, and then I also want it to have curved edges. So I just kind of eyeball it. Um, to get the curve, you just hit these little corner circle things and just pull it in or out or whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a pretty good box here. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of Yoshi for a second. He's distracting me. <laughs> My containers for the title text always have a stroke. I think it's 15 point. Yes, 15 pixels. So over here in appearance, just 15 and that adds your stroke for you. Um, the reason I'm going back to my reference to see is like, I want all the posters to be unified. So to change the color of the stroke, I'm gonna keep the fill white. That's just consistent across all the posters, but you would click here to change it. Um, but here's the stroke, click on it. And then I just click the color button 
and then eye drop um, from the background. And I kind of want something a little dark. Let's do this, but I'm gonna manually make it a little bit darker. Click OK. This is just testing. Okay, that looks cool. Um, it doesn't really contrast as much as I would like it to, but we can fix that later. This is good for now. Oh, I also like to keep everything pretty organized, so I'm going to group all these layers down here and just make a background folder that I can lock and then not worry about. <laughs> Let's work on the type. So here's your text tool. You can click on it or you can just press the letter T on your keyboard and click and drag. It's gonna put like some lorem ipsum into your text box. Um, I just need to type Yoshi and click OK. Um, then I press V to get to the selection tool or you can just click this tool right here and drag it. You don't need to hold shift or anything. Photoshop automatically like scales stuff proportionally, which is really nice. Um, yeah, press enter. Um, this just annoys me when my text box is like too big for the text. So I just resize it like that. Okay. Hit V and yeah. Okay. I can't read this at all. <laughs> um, let's just make it black first. Um, before I go into any color, I like to have a little bit of a layout going. Um, so let's put Yoshi back in here and kind of figure out how we want to start laying this out. Pretty much the whole time as I'm making this, I'm thinking about like what's going to look best compositionally. Um, obviously we have some rules to keep in mind, like the text is gonna go at the top, it's gonna be in the container, um, but the rules can be like stretched a little bit. Like for example, Luigi's poster, his little name card is, it's not full width of the whole poster, it's a little bit shorter because his name is shorter. I think Daisy's is the same, yeah. Um, and for Luigi's, right after the container is his little description, but for Cat Peach, right after the title container is her headshot and then the description. Um, so the layout does change. Like Bowser's layout is like really weird. So just be thinking like hmm, compositionally, what's, how am I going to fit all the pieces of this puzzle into a new layout? Trust the process, because this looks <laughs> really bad right now. I think I actually like him over on this side. Um, I really don't want um, him to be covering like the first letter of his name. Like, I think it's more important for the beginning of the text to be readable than the end of the text. Because um, if you saw like, let's say you saw this, you'd be like, something she, like, I don't know. But if you saw this, you'd be like, oh, Yoshi, yeah, it's Yoshi. I don't know, that's just my <laughs> thought process. I think I like him over on this side here. So I think I'm gonna go for this sort of, oops, um, like this kind of layout with the name card kind of tucked into the corner there. Before we continue, let's get the uh, these three stats in there. So I'm just gonna take it from here, copy and paste it. Oh, I already have it made. But to do this again, just hit the text tool, make box and type your stuff in the box. <laughs> It's going to be pretty, pretty covered up with his giant ball on his face. <laughs> so I wonder, he could, he could be a little lower. While we think about that, let's actually look up his statistics. <laughs> Yoshi Mario Kart. Stats. This is the page that I've been using for a reference. So Mario Kart 8. And then I just see these stats. I don't know. These actually say Mario Kart Arcade. The technicalities of it all do not don't matter to me. I'm so sorry if they matter to you, but this is how I've been getting the star things. <laughs> okay. Speed 2. 
acceleration for, so I'm just gonna highlight one, control C, control V, or command or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm using I use like a weird keyboard, so the I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. So here's our official stats. Hmm. Maybe he just covers them. He just doesn't care if anyone knows his stats. I don't know. I just I like I like him right here. We could break the rules. We could break the rules a little bit and you know, give this type of different treatment like we could do. We could do this instead. That actually looks pretty good. Um, cool. You know what? I'm just going to keep that for now. And if it starts to bother me, then we'll change it. Okay. Let's get into the specifics of the type. So let's pick color first. I know the background is blue, but I kind of want to make the text blue. <laughs> like that color. I really do. Let's just color this for fun. I like this text to be like a little bit darker. Hmm. All right, let me try. Hmm, see navy kind of works better because it's part of his color palette. That's a cute color too. I might need to change the background. I might I might go for like a navy a navy red theme. <laughs> this is truly my process just figuring it out. Let's try another gradient and see what happens. So here's how you would make a new gradient. Your gradient tool, oops. Your gradient tool is over here. Um, it's also the paint bucket tool. So you like, if you're seeing the paint bucket, just right click and the gradient tool is there um, or just press G on your keyboard. Um, and to make a new one, you'll see this gradient up here. You just press this arrow down, click this settings thing, this gear, new gradient preset. And then this will pop up and then, yeah. Um, you can add a bunch of colors into your gradient if you want. Let's just do two for now and see what happens. Um, so for our first color, let's try this navy here. And then for this one, let's try this red. It's almost like a coral because I'm, I'm eye dropping this like highlight on his shell. Is this a shell? I don't understand Yoshi's anatomy, to be honest. This is this highlight color is kind of more of a coral over here is a little bit of a more cherry color. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. So you press okay and then press this plus and then you get to keep and name your gradient. So I'm just gonna name this navy to coral. I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, let's throw that on here. interesting i think i'm gonna need to edit these a little bit more Ooh. oh sorry hello i'm just <laughs> let me just figure this out real quick Okay, this really changes the vibe. I think this is getting too crazy. I think the colors are too all over the place. Like the orange, he has like bright orange shoes, bright yellow on his shoes, bright green, bright red. We gotta, we gotta chill. <laughs> Maybe an orange background would look good. Let's try it. The background's orange. Um, let me just try green. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. It's like a 
Okay. Why didn't I do that first? <laughs> I like thought about it, but I was like, well, he's green, so he's not gonna pop off the background, but this looks so good. He has enough like extra colors, like the bright red, bright orange that he, I think contrasts really nicely, even though he's green, he contrasts against green. <laughs> okay, cool. I should have done that earlier. All right, let's get rid of these other gradients. Goodbye, good riddance. I think I'm gonna go back to navy for the type and like all this red stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna go navy. Let's see what happens. Or like maybe like light blue. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think I have my color <laughs> scheme nailed down finally. That was a lot. Maybe an orange background would look good. <gasps> Type. Let's work on it. So let's zoom in. And to get all of those like crazy effects, let me show you what I'm kind of going for. Just kind of looks like the text is like popping out of the background a little bit. Um, it's a little has a little bit of um, green and shadows. So you select your text layer and then click FX. Um, and you can click any of these things, whatever you want to start with. But let's do bevel and emboss first. Ooh, huh? Um, okay, for the shading, like this is how your text is going to be shaded. <laughs> um, there's a highlight and a shadow. As you can see, these two colors, these are from like whatever previous settings I was using. The highlight is this yellow, which kind of overlays um, whatever's like up of the text. And then the shadow mode, which is this pink color, you can see um, is where like the text the, the dark areas of the text. Okay, yeah, shadows are dark, okay. So let's get a different color, not this yellow. Let's try a green highlight. This is really highlights like the whole, the whole thing. So maybe I wanna do, keep it blue. Let's keep that for now. Um, you can lower the opacity if you want. If you just wanna turn the highlight part completely off, you can. And for a shadow, I think I gotta just keep the blue going. Okay, and yeah, so this is bevel and emboss. So you pick if you want an inner bevel. Outer bevel is like the text is pressed in. They just like kind of look, one looks like it's coming up, one looks like it's going down, I guess. Um, there's just different settings that you can choose. I think that they all look kind of cool, so it's kind of hard to pick. Um, I've been doing inner bevel though, so let's just keep it the same. You can choose your depth, so zero or you know a thousand percent that's how much it's gonna pop okay for size you want to pick like how much so whoa if you want it really popping out <laughs> um but i kind of keep it pretty minimal i don't want it to be too crazy something like that i think looks cool and then soften uh how soft do you want it do you want it at zero percent where it looks very like hard cut um or more soft that the letters look a little bit like squishier and i like that squishiness so i keep it all the way 100 percent and i think this looks really good i think that's enough uh, of beveling yeah i'm happy with it um so i'm gonna put a stroke on there also and i've been doing a gradient stroke for the title text so for fill type your default settings is going to be color but just change it to gradient and then you can go through your gradients and pick um, which one let's try this i don't know this looks cool to me or should we try red should we try this gradient that i made earlier that looks kind of dumb i kind of like i kind of like this just everything's green and navy why not um let me just i'm just gonna click okay um, cause I like to zoom out and just kind of see how we're looking and yeah, I like, I like it. <laughs> so let's keep going with it. When you want to go back and just edit, you can click your text and then just like double click on whatever setting you want to fiddle with. I think I want to make the size a little bit bigger. Like as you can see, there's a little bit of 
white space between the letters and I kind of want it to look like all the letters are in this sort of little gradient blanket under the blanket there you go I think that looks really cute your opacity if you want it super vibrant or very subtle you kind of pick um oh and then for stroke position there's different uh like this i just tune it to inside it's going to put a stroke on the inside of your letter instead of the outside for these posters i'm keeping it an outside stroke um, and then you don't lose any of the letter the letter stays exactly the same none of it gets cut off or squished just a stroke on the outside and then i'm going to put an inner glow that's my last step with the text um, and actually let me just click ok i'm going to zoom in real close uh, for this so i really want to be able to see exactly what i'm doing <laughs> before we get into whatever color like let's just keep it at this default and fiddle around with it until we're happy with um like the size of it and everything so you can change the size around if you want the whole thing to be glowing <laughs> Um, I like to keep it pretty subtle. I think about that much looks good to me. Um, choke, it's like, how would I explain it? You can see when it's at zero, like it's a pretty hard edge. Um, but as you bring it out, it kind of gives the edge a little bit of, makes it more dynamic somehow. I just keep it kind of in the middle. Another thing that you want to kind of edit is the noise. Right now it's at 100%, which is crazy. Um, I want a little bit of noise. It's true that a, a little bit of that grainy effect um, I like. I'm gonna lower this too, actually. Um, but yeah, I kind of like how that looks. It's subtle, but it's there. And let's look at color. Um, so I want to do like like a mint green um i'm gonna put the opacity at 100 right now just so we can see and right now the blending mode is at screen so it's actually like the way this color is going to lay on top of your text is going to be affected by the blending mode so i'm just going to keep it at normal um okay and it looks similar <laughs> oh wow the sun is coming out That actually looks kind of cool with this like sharp uh, shine. I'm gonna decrease the noise a little bit. Okay, I think this looks cool, but let's kind of zoom out and see if I'm right. <laughs> and I am, that looks awesome. I love it, <laughs> perfect. After I do that, I actually do another text layer. So I'm gonna just take this Yoshi Command C and then Command Shift V. It's gonna copy and paste it in place. This top one, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna lock it. We're good to go with the text. And for the one that's on the bottom underneath, I'm gonna turn off the bevel, turn off the inner glow, and just um, work with the stroke. Um, and for this stroke, I just like to have another like extra stroke within this stroke, if that makes sense. So color, I'm gonna go really dark. Um, and the size, I'm gonna do it pretty small. Actually, I'm gonna do center for this one. Okay, there's my extra stroke. Let me just see if it looks good. You know, maybe this one doesn't need the extra it really like it already pops in the background usually the extra stroke see this one has this extra um here's the gradient stroke this peachy pink color um and then this extra like brighter pink color is the additional stroke um this one needed that because the peach on peach just really didn't pop but I feel like this one just doesn't need it. Cool. I'm deleting this. <laughs> now that we have our stroke in here, this is like a little bit too close. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit. 
flip it over. I just kind of eyeball where I want it. This is looking so cute so far. Okay, the next element that we want to add is the extra headshot. Whoops, come back. Um, so let's go find more Yoshi images. <laughs> no. Okay, this one's kind of cute. Um, I just like, I'm gonna open the ones that I want to try in a new tab. This one's kind of cute. I want like the character and the headshot to be slightly different, like either a different pose or a different facial expression. I think I'm gonna try this one just because his hand is up here and that's just kind of different, um, but we'll see what happens. Command V to place it there. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because this is like the same angle I'm going to just mirror him. Um, and that's with this vertical mirror tool. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, flip horizontal. Yeah, like I guess I guess flipping vertically is like like this. Whatever. This might look cute. It might. Um, but we want to put this little guy into a, another container. So let's do that. You get your rectangle tool. Actually, you kind of want to decide if you want to do a rectangle or like that pill shape or a circle. Let's try the pill shape option first, see what happens. All right, here's my rectangle. I'm going to drag these until you can't drag them anymore. That's gonna make the perfect um, like rounded edged container. And um, to get something into a shape, <laughs> you just make sure that the layer is over top of the shape layer. And then you're gonna hit Alt. Um, I think on a Mac, yeah, on a Mac it's Option. Um, and then just click. So when you see that little arrow right here, you click and it's gonna put your image into whatever is underneath it. Um, it's great to have a transparent image because then you can change the background of your shape and your character is just like in a new background, which is fun. <laughs> Let's just try it with this green background. I'm gonna scale it up so it's a little bit more subtle. And once your like character is inside the shape, you can still move it around. I'm thinking we might have to do a circle because he's so circular. <laughs> I want to see more of his face, but if it's like this small, then it's like, why even have all this empty space here? So Let's try a circle. I'm gonna delete this rectangle. <laughs> um, for a circle, you just hit your rectangle tool, shape tool, and then right click, and then you see ellipse. Click and drag, and then press shift to make it a perfect circle, and then release. And do the same thing, just hit alt or option, click, and then there you go. I think that looks cuter. I'm gonna group these, cause it's annoying. <laughs> to not have them grouped and I'm gonna say headshot and I'm gonna make sure that this layer is underneath Yoshi because I want him to always be the foreground and the headshot I'm thinking about putting it right there is that crazy is that too annoying that you can't see his nostrils there, you can see one. Let's get this gradient background in here again. I like it. I might change it, but we'll see. Um, I want to have an outline. Actually, I'm going to eye drop from this stroke over here because I want them to be the same. It's going to be 15 pixels. And yeah, I actually think this needs to be like a lighter color or something. Mm, okay, it definitely needs to be blue immediately <laughs> uh, Okay, I'm gonna do it like a super light blue Or maybe I'm not wait <laughs> Okay, we're almost done. So other things that we need to add Let's go back to our reference picture. So the last little like four elements this star that's on every single one this little description uh, the call to action at the bottom, and then 
the Nintendo Switch logo. The logo is easy, let's just get that in there. I'm gonna copy it from this one and then do a command shift V to paste it in place. Gonna paste it exactly the same place as the last one, which is cool. I might switch it to the other side though. Either corner is fine with me. <laughs> okay, I hope I've explained everything so far. This is actually, fun fact, this is my second time <laughs> recording this, tuto this tutorial. Um, not my second time making like a Yoshi poster. This is, a, this is I'm, have not tried to make a Yoshi poster yet, but I recorded um, a tutorial a few days ago and got like 80% of the way through editing it, <laughs> which like right now, as I'm filming this new one, I'm like, am I making the right decision? Um, but I just wasn't happy with it. It wasn't, I was just rambling too much and not t tutorialing enough. This one is better so far, if you can believe it. <laughs> Let's copy this. Cause I already have, like, I know what size the text is. I want to keep everything the same, paste it. But again, if you're making yours from scratch, you just hit T on your keyboard or click the text tool, click and drag to make your text box and just type away. Um, let's delete that though. We want to make sure that this type can fit. <laughs> that is always the issue. Um, I'm gonna click T to get in here um, so that I can drag this around. Um, and this is kind of a little perfect little pocket down here for some text. Um, like that already looks good to me layout wise. Um, but let's get Yoshi's text in here. Yeah, I've been taking the Mario Kart 8 and then bio, which let me tell you, Cat Peach did not have one. I just wrote this. Cat Peach just might be the most perfect racer. And then the only notable difference, blah, 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 is from some random website. So Yoshi's, let's copy it. I'm not even reading it. Let's let's see what it says. Yoshi represents his island while in Mario Kart 8 as a member of a heavier group of lightweights. Fortunately for everyone else on the track, Yoshi doesn't bring out his egg arsenal to the races. Oh god. Thank goodness. Okay, so it's a little bit longer, but let's just... Boom. Okay. I like that. I think that looks good. It's a little bit tight. It's a little bit close to his foot here. But actually, I kind of... I think he needs to move over anyway. All right, so for color on here, let's see. We already have some blue type. Maybe we wanna go green for this text. It's on this sort of yellowy background. So maybe we should go dark. I don't know, we're gonna have to just experiment. <laughs> color, let's pick a dark blue. No, not bad. Can move it down a little bit. It really just fits perfectly there. Okay, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no changes. No changes for me. Um, okay. Uh, I also like to just bold some select words or phrases. Just what I think is important. I'm gonna say he represents his island well. That's really nice. Uh, and I'll do egg arsenal because that's like Yoshi's thing is eggs. This drop shadow isn't the exact right color. It looks a little bit pale. I want to do this super green. Oh, and to do the drop shadow, sorry, I didn't even say. You just go to this FX and it's right here, drop shadow. Um, I like to keep my size like maxed out um, because like, when it's small, here, let me just give you a better example. Oh. Um, when it's small like this, it just, it looks like it's obviously placed there. Like, oh, this person put a drop shadow in here. Um, when it's big, it kind of blends out more and it just is more seamless with the background, in my opinion. Oh, I can't undo back to my <laughs> original color. Okay. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Yeah. And we just have a couple more elements to add in. The star, which let's just copy it from over here, paste it. Um, this, I just Googled an image of these stars. I think I put like Mario Kart 8 star. This is just kind of like an extra element 
that it's not really crucial to the poster, but it does help balance things out. Here's the Rosalina poster. Without the star, it's like, okay, there's this weird empty space. This just, I was like, okay, perfect. It balances the poster out a lot better. For this one, I can see two areas where this would work. Sort of a small star up here in the corner. Nothing wrong with empty space, but this is just like this style of poster is pretty is it maximalist? I don't know. There's a lot going on. <laughs> so I could do a small star up there, which I think is cute. Or we could bring it over here because there is kind of a bit of awkward space over here. And like normally I would just make it bigger, move it over. But I think that like this curve kind of matches with this over here. It's kind of all making sense locked in. So yeah, I don't no really i could i could make this rectangle bigger and the type bigger like i could do that and that would help um get rid of this corner space this could be moved down okay i think i actually like that better <laughs> um this needs to be a little bit smaller. I just want this uh, section to just be tucked in nicely in the corner here. Move it up a couple pixels. Perfect. There's kind of this awkward space right here. It would fit perfectly with like two stars. <laughs> like that. Does Yoshi get two? No. I kind of like it just in the middle with a little bit of space, a little bit of space. I don't know. Somebody, somebody's gonna think that looks bad. I know it. This is how I like it. It's just uh, normal with a slightly lowered opacity um, so that you can see through it. Um, let's see what it looks like at full opacity. Maybe I'll do like 80, maybe 90. Okay. Slightly, slightly, slightly subdued. There is a stroke on this too. Right now there's a yellow one. Let's try green. I love it. Adjust the size to however you like. These stars don't really have rules. Um, I love it. Last thing is just our little call to action. So I'm gonna copy it from over here. But if you were to make this yourself, it's just the rectangle tool. Make the rectangle, drag these little circles in to make the pill shape. You can click on the shape, adjust the fill and the stroke to however you like. Um, and that's how you make that. It's pretty low down. You could actually move Yoshi down a little bit. Really cute. This, see, you gotta trust the process. This turned out really nice. <laughs> Um, okay, for the text, it's very simple. I use the same text as the title. Um, switch cat peach for Yoshi. And I want the rectangle to just be pretty tight around the text, not a lot of white space. Holding shift, just drag it over. And I just kind of eyeball it where I want it. Cool. Okay, so let's figure out the color for this text. I kind of want to do blue, like a light blue. Okay, let's just keep it for now. Um, the rectangle, the stroke, I want to keep this sort of blue stroke theme that we have going. Um, but I want this, I want this exact color. Oh, ooh, hmm. Let's try this color. I kind of like that, actually. The reason I even have that, it's super, like, not necessary. But I always feel like your poster or whatever you're making needs to be, like, punctuated with something, like, or else it feels so, like, pointless. Like, <laughs> what's it even for? I mean, it is pointless, but having a little call to action, like, Yoshi for Mario Kart 8, like, I don't know. It's almost like an advertisement, like, use Yoshi, like, play with Yoshi. <laughs> that sounded weird. It needs to have some sort of 
conclusion statement like in your poster somewhere <laughs> like this is my advertisement because i want everyone to use yoshi in mario kart okay here's my here's my flyer i'm gonna put them up all around the city like use yoshi for mario kart 8 <laughs> i don't know i keep reading it as sushi it looks like sushi from here I should just change this to sushi, see if anybody notices. <laughs> okay, this text, I'm gonna move down just a little bit to kind of balance in this space that we have here. Um, it doesn't bother me that it covers the Switch logo at all, but honestly, I do wanna see what it looks like with these switched. Um, I kind of like to have my elements balanced out um, so you have this extra, like two extra large, um, two extra large elements, this type container and the main character. Those are the biggest things. So those two big items need to be balanced. Then we have some medium elements, the, the headshot, the text, the call to action. Those all also need to be balanced. You don't want them all stacked on top of each other. Um, they need to be balanced nicely. And then you have two small elements two teeny elements and you also want those to be balanced nicely <laughs> um and right now it looks a little bit off to me because these two smaller elements this star and the switch logo are like kind of on top of each other you know and it's messing with my mind <laughs> so i'm going to try to switch them just to have a little bit of distance in between elements and see what happens so let's move the switch logo, please, to this corner. And the bottom text to this corner. I don't really know if it's perfectly aligned. It might not be. Okay, and I already like that better. I'm gonna edit this text a little bit and see if I can get the shape a little bit better for this space. There is a sort of empty space here. Um, but it doesn't really bother me that much. That helps a little bit. Um, you never want your type, like let's say, I did that. Like, there's just this one word, races, at the bottom. Those are called orphans. Or maybe they're... I don't know, there's like orphans and there's widows or whatever in graphic design, in typography. Um, but just having one lonely word on a line by itself. Um, one, it just like doesn't look great. It doesn't look intentional like or as intentional as like this. It's just a nice balanced chunk of text right here graphic design tip. <laughs> I think that this is where it's going to be, she says as she continues to adjust it. <laughs> we are pretty much done here. The last thing, um, just like finishing touches and stuff, and we want to get um, Yoshi kind of popping off the page a little bit. Let's give some effects to this guy. All right, so a stroke, that's gonna be our first line of action here. And I'm gonna go for green, sort of like a yellowy green. And it it is extremely subtle, like I'll take it off, put it back on. I've also been doing an inner glow, or was, or was I doing an inner shadow? I can't remember. Oh yeah, okay. I kind of like the inner shadow thing. I'm not gonna do this black, that's pretty harsh. But blue. With a tiny bit of noise. Sold. I really, I don't want it to be like super dark. But yeah, there, just before, after, it kind of, like, 
almost looks like you're turning up the contrast a little bit on his actual character. Um, make it a little bit more so. But yeah, I like it. It just makes them jump out. And then let's add a drop shadow. That's our last thing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna keep with, keep it going with the blue. Multiply. Um, distance. I'm doing zero. Um, what the distance does is like here. Here's with the distance at zero. If you adjust it, it kind of moves it like how far away is the shadow from the item i like it at zero because it's just like an even shadow around the whole thing it looks a less it looks less like realistic <laughs> as a shadow but we're not clearly we're not going for realism here and now that i put this drop shadow on the stroke is actually looking a little bit too harsh for me okay I'm liking it. Looks really good. He's jumping off the page. And then last thing for Yoshi is to add some noise. You know what a filter, noise, add noise. Um, and you want to do a really tiny percentage. Like here's 7%. I think that's what I've been doing for most of them. And I'm actually going to do five because that looked a little bit harsh. Okay. And it just kind of gives, you can see, this like grain effect. There are better ways to do it in Photoshop than by using just like the add noise thing. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how to do it. You can Google it <laughs> if you want to know. Let's add some noise onto him too, onto the headshot. I'm just going to do the same settings. Perf. Um, I'm going to get this background would have some green on it as well. The colors of this text down here are bothering me. <laughs> so let's figure that out. I actually think I want the text to be green. Yeah, like, boom, that exact color. Do we want the red stroke? No, the blue just looks so much better. Yeah, I love it. Okay, let's put a drop shadow on the headshot circle. Add the blue. For whatever reason, I like green on that better. And for this rectangle, I'll see what it looks like blue. Whoa. Amazing. We are literally done. That's it. Whoa. That is how I make these posters. It's really hard for me to know when to stop, okay? Because now that I'm looking at this, <laughs> I want to change the background color of this headshot. <sighs> it never ends, you guys. It just never ends. I also think that this the stroke is kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> Should I go back to blue? <laughs> Sometimes you have to go away from something to realize that it was fine all along. This is like so uh, chaotic. Like I don't save any of my colors or anything. It's just like totally random every time. But that's just me. I'm so random. Like I like this color background, but I feel like he doesn't pop enough on that color background. I wonder if I'd put a drop shadow on him, if that would like do something. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay. Did I just solve my problem? Yeah, cool. <laughs> that looks so good. That's what it needed. For whatever reason, that's what it needed. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we're done, let me save it. Um, I like to put an overlay on top of the entire thing. So let me just grab that. Let's just try it. I'm gonna just try the same one from the Cat Peach poster. 
paste in place. Um, and it's pretty subtle. Yeah, boom, yeah, I like it. It's the color burn uh, blending mode. 50% opacity, 50% fill. Um, I really, it will work with like any gradient. Um, I feel like it saturates it a little bit more, bumps up the contrast a little bit more. Like here, it kind of looks a little bit more pastel and flat. Not that it's even pastel or flat, but with the added uh, overlay, I think it just turns up everything a little bit. And that's what we want. Yeah, I am pretty happy with this. I'm gonna move that a little bit. Just, I think it fits in this space a little bit more. Yeah, I like it. Cool, we're done. <laughs> I really hope that that was successful. Um, I really, I feel like I don't really work in the most organized way. It's kind of like working on little bits and pieces at a time and kind of adjusting everything until I like it. Um, but you know what? That's what works for me. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. All of my posters are available on my website as like digital downloads that you can print at home. I'm a little bit too scared to make actual prints of these. Um, one, I don't know if the demand is actually high enough for me to justify like actually spending the money to get them printed and then selling them. And then two, uh, like it's not my writing, you know, the writing's from Google, character images are from Google, it literally has a Nintendo Switch logo on it, it's not my logo. And I don't want to get sued by Nintendo. Not that I think that's going to happen, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> you can still download them and print them out for yourself if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want. I would love it if you did. <laughs> Maybe I'll make more tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Okay, let me stop talking. Bye!